Dante's out on the ice right now. Is he drawing into the lineup tonight? Yep. Um, yeah, we debated if we, you know, let him just settle in and get to Columbus. But obviously we, you know, made the transaction for a reason and we want him in our lineup. And we think, uh, you know, getting him in there right away and having that opportunity, we're all excited about. What kind of flexibility does having another right-handed D in that yeah. lineup mean for you? Yeah, that was a, a big part of it, right? Um, lefty righty's crucial the way teams play now um, how they forecheck how pressure filled um, everybody wants to be um, in order to go tape to tape and keep your keep the puck on your forehand is uh, is a big asset obviously these guys are uh, NHL players and they can play on their offside but to have that ability to be left right uh, at least for you know two pairs here tonight uh, is exciting for us Ready? Do you expect a player who comes into this type of situation to be, whether it's a trade or this kind of situation? How, how much can you put on their plate? I think I think the excitement level overrides maybe some of the stuff that uh, you know systematic that he's going to be thinking. I think the excitement level of you know being with a new team and you know generate uh, you know that energy that uh, that uh, you need to play with. Um, you know, he's going to make some mistakes, you know, coming to a new system, and we try to dial it in with video and, and uh, chatting with him. But um, but we just want him to play his game. He's a guy that um, is a steady player anyway. He's not a flashy guy. He's a guy that's uh, real good defensively, moves the puck, simplifies the game, and um, so he should have no problem fitting into our system. Scott is familiar with him from Nashville days. Are we able to learn on him a little bit as, or lean on him a little bit as far as things to learn about Dante and the style of play he brings? Yeah, he's got a relationship with him uh, through, you know, um, training camps and, and you know, their staff actually, Fordo uh, went up, um, their whole group got COVID at one point and they coached a couple of games. So, yeah, he's got a relationship with him. He knows his game. Um, you know, obviously when you're in the minors, uh, you watch the parent club a lot, so he's uh, he's watched Nashville a lot. Has a good idea, um, you know, how he plays the game and different things that we can communicate to him to get him to where we need him to be to to have success, uh, not only for himself obviously, but for us. Sillinger's gotten a lot of great A opportunities over the course of this road trip. He hasn't been able to capitalize on them, but how are you able to just keep him settled and kind of? You know, he's, he seems to be in the right places, the right time, everything like that. How, how do you keep him settled to be like, his chance is going to come? Yeah, well, I'll expand on that. We've all had lots of chances, right, the entire team. And that's one thing that we talked about this morning is that it's wonderful that we have chances. It's wonderful that we're out shooting teams. It's wonder that, wonderful that our expect, expected goals are really high. But end of the day, we're not scoring, and, and the bottom line is we haven't won. And uh, so we stress to the group that, yeah, you you can get pissed off, but you can still be positive. Like, be positive of how we're playing, but be, you know, pissed off that we're not winning hockey games and use that um, to not only score goals um, individually uh, to help your team win, but uh, you know to, to hopefully do all the right things to uh, give ourselves a chance to get out of the losing streak that we're on. I think we may have asked you this before, but as you go through the tape, are there specific things you can see to try to create more offense? Or are guys holding the puck too much or things like that? Or are you just, is it just offensive hockey, let them go, and it'll maybe at some point it'll change? Yeah, yeah we, we believe we're playing the, the, the right way. We, we believe that we're doing the things, as you guys said. And if you look at the analytic stuff, which we um, do all the time, obviously, we're, we are generating in the right areas. We're not just getting chances off of the rush. We are getting some real quality opportunities on second and third opportunities and off of, off of our offensive cycles and, and offensive play. So we just got to stay the course and, uh, and believe that those bounces, those breaks, and uh, the, uh, you know, the opportunities to score, we're going to put it in the back of the net. Dante, in. Uh, just the one power play goal against on the trip, what do you like most about the PK? Um, just their attention to detail. Our clears have been real good. They've been uh, really um, concentrating on you know when to pressure, when not to pressure. Our uh, ability to read those situations has been real good. Um, so systematically, we're good. We're positionally sound. But when we have that opportunity to go, we've been able to pressure. Um, and most 
importantly is we got pucks 200 feet. Dante in, who's out? Um, Dante is in. Um, Yuri and Harris are uh, are out tonight. Any other so, any other changes? Um, yeah, JVR is coming out, and uh, um, LeBanc is going in. Goalie. Uh, Elvis. New environment for you. What, what are your expectations tonight? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think I'm just excited to get out there and go play again. Um, uh, it's kind of nice to try to just kind of rip the bandit off and get going again. And um, obviously got a chance to meet a bunch of the guys here today. And um, seems like a great group of guys. And I'm excited to go to work with them. We talk about chemistry all the time. How long does it take to start to develop something with uh, with your deep partner? Um, yeah, I think it's definitely takes some time, but um, again, I think the way I play, I'm pretty, I'm a puck moving defenseman, so um, anytime I can, you know, move the puck quick and transition and stuff like that, bring pucks out, I think, you know, it benefits the team um, in a good way, and uh, so I'm just going to try and stick to my strengths tonight and, and be simple and and uh, just trying to get used to their system and, and, you know, play well for these guys. Did this surprise you, and if so, uh, how long does it take you to, to get over the surprise and, and kind of get your focus back on work? Yeah, it was, uh, it was a bit of a shock, but... Um, again, I think change is good sometimes, and um, obviously it wasn't working out in, in Nashville. So, um, you know, for a team to, to obviously feel like they want you, and uh, it feels great as a player to, to feel wanted. And um, so, again, I'm just excited to be here. And um, obviously, it's a, it's a great group of guys so far. I've met, uh, I think, most of them, and um, met the staff and everything, and it feels feels great. Well, have you had a chance to play with anybody on this team before? Do you know anybody on the spot? Yeah, I played with uh, Olivier uh, in Nashville yeah. for a little bit. Um, Severson and uh, Team Canada. So, um, yeah, I've, I've known, I know a few guys and a couple guys from Vancouver and stuff. So, again, it's uh, it's nice to have a couple familiar faces to, to get to know and um, allow them to kind of show you the ropes of uh, the organization and stuff. Speaking of Vancouver, you're not terribly far from home. Do you get, does the family get to come down and watch tonight? Yeah, they're, uh, I got a good chunk of them coming down tonight. So, uh, it'd be good to see them. I hadn't seen them in a while. So, um, get to see the hellos and obviously they get to see me in, uh, in a New Jersey tonight. Scott Ford is a guy that you know from his time in the national organization too. Is it is it nice to have a coach that knows your game coming in here so that uh, you know you know you've got an advocate right there? Yeah, I think it's I think it's great. I mean, um, obviously I loved love Fordo from you know my time in Nashville and um, what he's done for for a lot of guys there. And um, again, I think um, everything's earned in this league, and so I just want to focus on putting my best foot forward and and um, trying to help this team in any way I can. Do you remember your first NHL goal? I do. Uh, I was in Nashville against Chicago. It was a pretty cool moment, and um, yeah, it's something I'll never forget. Well, your first you had an early one against Columbus, though, too, right? Uh, I remember I coughed a puck up against Columbus <laughs> <laughs> for a goal. I think Boone Jenner scored, um, but uh, I might have. Yeah, I, I, I honestly can't remember. An early one against us. So. They mentioned they haven't gone super deep into systems and stuff, but one thing Dean has kind of told us a lot is he wants defensemen to go. He wants defensemen to yep. join the play if the opportunity is there. Do you think that kind of fits your style of game, talk about being a puck-moving defenseman? Yeah, I mean, obviously there's there's a lot of areas you can continue to work on as a player, and um, I think one of the, that's you know an area I, I, I do continue to try to focus on and, and be better at. And um, But again, I think uh, the faster I distribute the puck and get in a transition, I think it helps our forwards out, and I think it'll create a lot of offense too. So. Um, yeah, just try to stick to my game, and which is passing and, and breaking pucks out and, and whatnot. And you know, obviously, um, you know, got some high talent here, and um, let them, you know, let them do the off, uh, create some offense, and see what happens.